So this transparency is what I want to use to kind of introduce the term of alpha blending. Uh, let's see what that means. So by doing a multiplication uh, that I have done here with 0.34 before each and every image, what I've done is basically added kind of allowed to do a mixing of different types of things. So basically what I've done is I've made the original image uh, compared to the next one transparent by 34%. So in essence, transparency is what an alpha is referred to as. Uh, so in essence, what actually that means is I've actually converted and given each one of them and made each one of them transparent about 34% from the original image. This is referred to as an alpha and it usually varies from zero to one, where zero is completely invisible. Remember if I'd multiplied by zero here, you would not have seen Leonardo da Vinci at all. If I'd multiplied by one, you would have seen him completely visible. Uh, of course, would have had changes to your dynamic range of the pixel values here, but this guy, Mr. Da Vinci would have been perfectly visible. And similarly, I could play around with these numbers for all of them. So alpha varies from one, zero to one, where zero is invisible and one is fully visible. So in essence, one of the ways we could do this is now basically add another layer. So RGB are the three layers of the image or three channels. And alpha could be another channel which would have values from zero to one. And RGB would have, of course, the intensity values from zero to 255. Uh, this Additional number, alpha value, could be also pre-computed and put inside those channels or kept separately and actually dealt with as a different mask. Uh, and this is an interesting way of being able to now create a separate mask, which we would then be able to play around with for different applications. Again, something we will come back to as we look at many examples.